We'd flown into Jomsom, Nepal, to do a seven-day trek to Neopol over several mountain passes. It's around 100 kilometres long and a real adventure. Come with us. Well, this morning we're off from Dompton, Mathra, which is about two to three hours walking. This is the village of Marthborough, which was meant to be about two hours away from Johnson, but doesn't seem to have taken quite so long. Next, we climb up to the lovely monastery. Slowly leaving the Apple Town behind us and heading down south. We've come around the corner and we've hit this, which is pretty impressive, really. Pretty snazzy village. We're in Lajung, which is a little village. Oh, quite a few hundred metres below here. We've climbed very steeply into a beautiful forest. You can see the rhododendrons in front of me. We wake up to another morning and another view of some mountains. They're having the festival of the yak or something. This bloke is carrying a refrigerator. Right, this morning we're on our way from Gaza to Talipani. Now our room, well our bathroom had a certain odour to it that uh, we won't want to remember for a while.
Well, this morning we've just walked down through this pretty great pass here. Just about to have breakfast on our long slog to California. We're so hungry. They're hungry and it's getting quite warm. Over in the distance is our destination for the day, Telepani. This is the last of this gorge. We're heading off to Gorapani this morning. It's already getting quite warm. So I'm going to get up a bit higher before the sun really comes out. Who said walking up bloody steep staircases was not hard? Especially with a freaking great backpack on. Well, we hit the first pass. With all the backpackers coming up. And this is the direction we're heading in. Straight up to the top of there, I think. We've just left, I think it's called Sikaram. One person said it's four hours, one person said it's three hours to Gorapani. And the slog goes on, the path leads on. Okay, onwards and ever upwards. Here is a little tea shop. I've had a Sprite and we've just ordered a cup of milk coffee. And the path ever upwards. <laughs> This is one of the many porters stands where they can rest their load and have a wee break. Well, we made it to Gorapani. I think it's one of the longest walks, walking days I've, I've done with a full backpack on. Way up there in the haze is Annapuna. Today we're exploring the rhododendron forests around Gorapani without our luggage, thank goodness. Well, today's the last day, day and a half of our little uh, trek. This is Gorapani where we stayed. During the day, these places become a bit like ghost towns until the next lot of people arrive. of steps today, ever downwards. down the never-ending staircase. There's 3,280 evidently. We're heading down, I think, to that little village down, way down in the distance. These steps just go on and on. Well, I don't know what this is growing wild amongst the plants. Well, we've done it. And wasn't it really easy, Dan? Very easy. Anyway, we're heading over the bridge and into town. Out we go. It's 
the evening. This is our last night. This is Everest beer, Nepal's own beer. The last morning of our epic trip. Okay, so we're practically finished our trek now. 